to Sugar Pearls. share a lot of gifts and do gifts exchange stuff this is why quality time is my love language okay because we spent a lot of time uh together that was just sweet and intentional and um one of the highlights of christmas for us growing up was all of my dad's aunts and um, my granddad coming home. So the aunts were coming from Boston. Granddad was coming from Philly. And me and, and the cousins are back and forth at the house. You know, we just, we're just soaking it up. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. I'm giving you a little story for the inspiration for this recipe tonight. Okay. Uh, share the video right now. Make sure you also share the website, like, subscribe, all of that. Okay, so one of the things that I remember eating and really loving around Christmas time when my Aunt Christine would come home from Boston, she would make um, bread pudding. She and my grandmother were making it together. Um, so bread pudding was just like a, a Christmassy thing for us turned into my mom making it and it's just one of those desserts that I look forward to I am NOT a baker I don't do that no that's not in my wheelhouse but this is a very special recipe to me it it just brings up all sorts of nostalgia and just like envelops me in home again so i'm going to be making bread pudding tonight yeah okay are you with it okay not only am i making the bread pudding honey but we making the rum sauce to go with it okay now some people do brandy sauce honey use whatever liquor you got all right my niece, Shatara, when I was home for Thanksgiving, me and Shatara messed around and started messing with some of that boom boo. Honey, that boom boo. So I'm going to use some boom boo to make my um, rum sauce tonight. Are you ready? Are you ready to get cooking good looking? Yes! Hey, everybody. If I missed you, if I didn't wave, it's because I was caught up in my story we're gonna make bread pudding tonight that's um based on my aunt christine and grandma sugar and my mom's recipe just kind of folded in one now the cool thing about this recipe it's not there there are a few different ways that people uh, make their bread pudding um and when i say that like the consistency varies from recipe to recipe um mine i don't want it so dense I don't want it nice and packed that if you did then you're gonna soak that bread okay but we're, we're gonna make a quick bread pudding tonight and I've already started mm, let me let me just bring you along honey I already started with my brandy sauce now this is there we go so the brandy sauce, let me tell what's what's in it. Let me show you what's in it. Okay. So there you see some raisins and some maraschino cherries. Okay. So I put them in there. They've been soaking in rum for a couple of hours. Mm-hmm. And then I added some brown sugar, a little white sugar, a little lime juice, and a little bit of vanilla. Yeah. Okay, so now I am going to scoop these out, okay? So let's scoop out the cherries and raisins. 
leave that juice in there. Um, fun fact about this juice. So the juice is, yes, about a half a cup of rum. Um, but I also added, because my mom adds fruit cocktail to her bread pudding the way I love it. So instead of, I didn't want to pour all that juice out, so I decided to pour that juice in my rum just to help thicken it up uh, when I'm making my rum sauce, okay? So get those raisins out. If you leave a few um, pieces of fruit in there, that's fine, okay? But now we've got delicious rum soaked cherries and raisins that are going to go in here. The other thing that's going to go in here uh, is a little bit of apple. That's like, um, it's like a little, little apple. So I, I used one and a half. Okay. I don't want too many. I'm not making a huge bread pudding. All right. But I want to make sure it's chock full of fruit. Okay, so there you go. That's already looking pretty. All right, so we've got apple, any kind of apple you want, um, as much raisins as you want. Some people like a lot of raisins. Some people don't want raisins at all. Um, and some cherries that were soaked in rum. Hmm. What? Yes! I know! Boo! It's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Ah, you made it to a Friday. You made it to another Friday night. And I wasn't going to cheat you this time, boo. I was like, I'm I'm making that bread pudding. I don't care if it don't turn out right. Okay? But this is what I'm making. And I know I don't do sweets with y'all. But this was important to me. Um, Just home. Thinking about, you know, family and... Christmas past. Christmas is past. What am I doing? Oh, my eggs. Okay, so I've got three eggs that I'm going to go ahead and whip up. So what we're going to do uh, is make a custard. Alright, I got my eggs whipped separately. I wanted to make sure I didn't have any shells, which I don't ever do anyway, but just wanted to be sure. So, fruits. Let's go ahead and start making the custard. That's just going to be milk, eggs, and sugar. Okay? We're going to add it to the fruit, then we're going to fold in our bread. Now, I'm using, I had a hoagie roll that was left in the freezer, so I took it out chopped it up um and i'm that's <laughs> yeah why not okay now to the fruits let's go ahead and i actually wrote the recipe down so that i can keep myself on track okay so i've got something that's gonna resemble you know the portion of a a cup measuring cup okay not gonna fill it up all the way but about a cup of milk I've got a little half and half I like the creaminess of it so there we go Ooh, the cherries made it change colors just a little bit so it turned kind of pink <laughs> that's so cute okay um and I've got some sweetened condensed milk Go ahead and get that in there. Oh, I got a feeling I'm going to have to. Yeah. This condensed milk is so thick and creamy that even after I punctured the little holes in it, it still don't want to come out. So I'm going to just empty the whole can. Yes. Mm. Okay, about half a can. This is a 14 ounce can, so about seven ounces. Okay, boom. <laughs> Get that mixed in there. Your eggs that you whipped, 
I know. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring the bowl so you can see. Okay. So now the eggs that you would go ahead and get them in there. And we can't forget the sweetness, right? Okay. Um, I don't know if you've made bread pudding before, but it's just it's just one of those. Make sure I got everything. Vanilla. Haha, <laughs> do that first. like to mix with every adding to make sure that everything is well incorporated okay so we've got an almost custard here we're gonna use uh, I'm not gonna use all of this white sugar um, some people just use white sugar for their bread pudding and that's fine um, but what I, I want a bread pudding that's not like ooh, ooh, that's sweet right Ooh, that makes you do that i want a bread pudding that is sweet but has layers of sweet okay so let's go ahead and get some sugar in there some white sugar and let's get some brown sugar nice light packed this is about, I'm using a little more brown sugar than I did white sugar. I don't know how much that was. Just figure it out. Okay? Okay. Because we've got the condensed sweetened milk in there, that's another layer of sweetener. But honey, we're not done. Oh, no. No. Maple syrup. Maple syrup is sweet, yes, but again, it's a different level of sweet. So it's going to add a little more dimension to your bread pudding. This is new and refreshing to me. Hey, Melvin. Oh, thank you. Let me tell you, um, growing up, this was one of the, and even now, like I'm not a, a sweets person, a cake person. You can sit a whole sweet potato pie made by my mama. And I might have a slice. But it's like, I'm, I'm good after that. Bread pudding, that's something I don't get a lot. And I always look forward to it. Like I said, it's that, um, it's that feeling of days gone by. Okay, so I got some fruit cocktail here. Um, I drained most of the juice off and I used it in my... <laughs> In my brandy sauce, my rum sauce, sorry. Let's go ahead and get some fruit cocktail in here. Yes. It's only about a can. I didn't even use all of that, if you could see. <laughs> I love that sound. <laughs> okay. All this is is custard, boo. We ain't even put the bread in there, okay? But what you've got is your raisins, your apples, your, um, I forgot the uh, cinnamon. Hold on. The condensed milk with, yeah. Oh, that would be, come on, honey. Come, Melvin, don't get me started. Don't get me started. You're going to have me on the back of you and Virginia porch, um, with a cigar. Don't start. That's about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, okay? Gotta add that to it. You can do nutmeg if you want to, but if you do nutmeg, just just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit, not too much. Don't, don't overdo it. All right, cool. So I'm gonna do, let's get this in here now because what I want is for my bread to really soak up that custard okay this is easy y'all and you can make it look so cute and so sexy i'm gonna show you in a little bit i'm looking for some i need to add just a little bit let's do a little <laughs> let me show you all of it's already cooked down I'm going to add a little more rum. 
Tara. Thank you, honey. Child Tara got me. Ooh. And I'm not a rum drinker, but that one was, ooh, was so smooth. Nice and smooth. Alright, let's get a little more brown sugar in here. So we want the alcohol to mostly cook out. Okay. Ah, how are you doing, boo? <laughs> oh, thank you so much, LaShawn. Thank you. Guys, if you're just coming in, thank you so much uh, for joining me, for hanging out with me on a Friday night. This is my therapy session. It's um, my maker space. It's, it's my kitchen. And you're here with me. So thank you. The website is sugarpearlsonline.com. YouTube is Sugar Pearls. And Instagram is sugarpearls underscore online. All right. Thank you. Let's get back to this recipe. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to turn that rum sauce up. Uh, it's got the sugar added now, and um, then we'll turn it down and just kind of let it reduce a little bit until it's got a little thickness, okay? Let's add a little more bread to our bread pudding, and I've got some brioche bread. I love brioche bread. Um, I just, I don't, I'm, I don't eat a lot of bread. Um, but if I'm going to make a sandwich or something, brioche is nice. So some people uh, cut their ends off of the bread. You certainly can. I want every bit of bread when my Aunt Christine and Grandmom and Mom are making it. They don't throw away no end. No, we're using all the bread. In the bread pudding okay uh, again that gives you different textures and um, just you know some layers to it some parts tend to brown a little bit more than others and it just looks so inviting when you take it out okay so I've got that oh <laughs> okay let me show you what's happening Ciao. Honey, oh, we got a bread pudding, Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. So I'm. I need to be kind of gentle. All right. I'm like mixing and chopping. You don't want to do that. You want to fold it kind of gently, um, because you don't want like just mush. Okay. You want, oh, I brought some of the raisins up to the top. Let me tell you, <laughs> that's so pretty. I'm going to show you. I forgot to add the salt. Okay, so when you're doing your custard mixture, add a, like a pinch of salt. Okay, so pretend I did it. I didn't. I'm not going to add it now because it's going to get caught in a piece of mm -mm, no not that I should have done it with the liquid all right but this is what we got got all our fruit all our bread we're just gonna let that sit for a second soak up all the luscious oh my gosh I smell the rum coming out of those chairs <laughs> honey mm. Y'all better get her. Y'all better get her. Okay. Oh, come on, come on. This isn't as thick as I want, but we'll we'll see. I'm just gonna let it let it do what it's doing. I'm gonna take some of these raisins out of here though and add to my custard. Boop. <laughs> I want more of that. Because that rump, now when my Aunt Blanche was making it, really, she's she's my dad's cousin, or was my dad's cousin. Um, 
like she would add more room to the mixture. But I ain't gonna do that, okay? Because we already got, you know, a nice marinated <laughs> um, Okay, so you got white sugar, you got brown sugar, you got maple syrup, you got sweetened condensed milk. Honey, you got heaven. You, you got heaven. This is going to go in our little casserole in a second. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. I'm going to sit it right here. Okay. I know. I've got a mess. Just work with me. Okay. Okay. You supposed to be sharing anyway. Why you why you fussing by me? You shared the video yet? Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, now for the fun stuff. So go ahead and grease up your ramekin, whatever you want to use. So I've got two ramekins um that may I may need I'll see I'm first gonna do this one I don't want it too thick because uh, we don't have a whole lot of time and the, I don't want it so thick that the inside is still not cooked so let's go ahead and just fold some of it out oh my gosh oh my goodness I know. I greased it with a little bit of uh, coconut oil. You can use whatever oil you want. That's just what I had. I didn't have olive oil at the time. Um, but just a little bit of butter or coconut oil, whatever, works just fine. Okay, get some of those apples in there. I want. I probably need to add some more bread. I don't know. In any case, let's get it in the oven for about 45 minutes. Okay? And we should have something that looks a lot like bread pudding. I hope. I haven't made this in a long time. A long time so I hope I did it right I hope I got enough eggs and all that stuff okay so um, I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this so as it goes in a 400 degree oven for you know several minutes I say about 40 35 30 minutes you need to be looking at it okay maybe 40 let it cook okay so let's go ahead and give it a little water bath so that when it's cooking in the oven um it doesn't get all dried out i don't think we're gonna have that issue anyway because there was a pretty good amount of custard around here all right so let's pull in the oven mm. oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> did you hear that did you hear me spill all that water on the floor, child? Uh, of course I did. Oh, nice. Okay, so this is what we want. We turned our rum sauce all the way up. So now what we have is just a lovely, bubbling, beautiful... It took on some color of that cherry that we marinated it in with the rum. And now it's just, it's gorgeous. I could show you. I could. Okay. Um, yeah, so home, home gave me an, another little find. I was going through uh, photo albums and all kinds of stuff. And um, just started thinking about, you know, holidays back in the day. You know when the relatives would come from all over and I know that's <laughs> polar opposite of what we have right now like you know we're trying to keep each other safe so we ain't gonna be gathering and everything 
but it's just nice to reminisce, you know? Just nice. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Okay, I'm going to throw some of this. Um, mm -mm. Better not, since it's already started. Okay, so that's going to be, let's see, where are we on time? 720. Okay, so about, about time for the show to be over, we should see something decent. Oh, I hope it comes out right. I hope I did. I hope I had enough bread to make it. Okay, it's it's whatever, child. Anyway, got my. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see. I think that's thick enough, honey. That's a rum sauce. That is a rum sauce. Look at that. That is what you want. See. See? Ah, I just trust the process. I, it didn't look like much at first. And then once we start cooking it down, bring it up to a boil, bring it all the way down, all that liquid, all that liquor has cooked off and down. And now we're left with a beautiful, um, maybe I should do, do it this way, a beautiful, look at that, a few raisins in there thick sweet rum sauce okay and you saw me do it I didn't add any thickener or anything like that you don't need to if you're just patient with the process okay yeah mmm 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 <laughs> oh mmm I hope I have something delicious to put it on. Oh, and I hope it turned out right. Child, share the video. <laughs> I know it does. It does feel a little strange. I'm I'm blessed that, you know, home for me with mom and dad is only about two hours away, so I can drive and you know, as long as I'm doing what I need to do, you know, that I don't take anything home to them and put them in harm's way. Um, so I, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for that. But yes, yeah, it's different. It's so different. I will tell you, tell you this though. I, I think we've been doing Thanksgiving wrong, honey. I think we've been doing it wrong because me and mama finished cooking at 12 o'clock. We were done. I was like, this this is good. This is this is what it should be about. Like be done with the cooking so you can enjoy the family. That's I don't know why it went by so quickly this time, but <laughs> Hi, Travis. Hi, everybody. Hey, if you're just tuning in, then I'm doing a little something different tonight. Um normally I do savory, like all the time. I'm always doing savory. But this time, because of my home experience and, and the talks and the memories, I decided to uh, think about some Christmases past and remember my aunts and granddad and all of them coming home, you know, and bread pudding. Bread pudding was usually somewhere around. You wanted it. You wanted it. Now, if Aunt Blanche was around, then there was definitely some sort of either rum or brandy or something like that was going into it. So, um, I'm, I'm trying my hand at it tonight just because I, to, I wanted to work it out. Let's see what you guys are saying. Oh, wow. Really? I did not know that your dad was a retired high school guidance counselor of 30 years. Wow. Uh amazing wow uh, share the video guys and let folks know that we're eating good in the hood we're sharing memories and getting ready for the holidays maybe not any holiday parties these days but you know you can still do something kind of festive bread pudding was one of those things for us growing up so 
That's what we're trying to do tonight, honey. The website is sugarpearlsonline.com. YouTube is Sugar Pearls. And Instagram is Sugar Pearls underscore online. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. I really, really appreciate it. I do. I just want folks to know that, you know, we got a community around here. All right? We got a community. So let them know. Um, that's why I like um, <laughs> food. <laughs> that sounded so gluttonous. But I like it. It reminds me of how things were growing up. Like, if there was food around, then there was always laughter around. There were people that you love around. It was just nonstop. So it was all of that. So I love, um, not only do I enjoy good food, but I love what good food does for people. That's really what the show is about. Okay, and I'm, I'm I'm healing through food. I am, and I think that especially in our culture, yeah, especially um, that it is a healing tool for us, and it's something that we've done for so long. I just want to keep the traditions going, keep the conversations going, pass the peas, you know, and still. Like, and we can talk about it. We can talk about the things that hurt. We can talk about the politics. We can talk about church. We can, all of that. We, relationships. Relationships that suck. Like, all of that. And still eat good food. What? Yes! <laughs> That's what we are doing, baby. Okay? So, I want to thin this out just a little bit. Hold on. I'm a, you know what? I'm going to thin it out with a little bit of flour. Because as it sits, it's really starting to... That's the rum sauce, y'all. I'm sorry. Here we go. <laughs> yes, Kenyatta. Healing, baby. Healing. I like it. I like where I am. I... I'm enjoying the healing phase. It don't always feel good, but show is worth it. Okay, one more line juice. Just to kind of thin it out. Uh, I didn't want to alter it in any way or weaken it by adding water. Just want to still, you know, keep the flavors going and make sure that we've still got a decent thickness without being clunky all right so we've still got it here we go see that isn't it gorgeous i know i know honey one more time <laughs> that's gonna be good oh that is <laughs> I'm just excited about the room. I want to find my little plate. Okay. I'll use this. I'll get just a little tray just when it's time. I hope. Okay. Just a little quick clean up while we get started and while i do that and the bread pudding is in the oven go ahead and share the video right now mm -hmm. go ahead do it do it and then take a look at my website at some point it's uh sugarpearlsonline.com uh the youtube channel is sugar pearls and the instagram page is sugar pearls underscore online i'm trying to get better about you know making sure i put stuff on instagram too so check me out honey i forgot that i had the butter did i put it up there i didn't even put it okay 
I pro I should have added the butter to my bread pudding and I didn't. So. Just pretend I did. Okay. Pretend I did. When you make it, add it. Okay. And I had it sitting out there all afternoon just getting soft. I didn't want to melt it. I just wanted it soft. Yes. I don't eat bread pudding, but a carrot cake would be. <laughs> Now let me tell you, I uh, I ain't messing with no carrot cake. I ain't messing with it. The, the carrot cake I used to love, I can't get no more. My my mother, my mother's sister, and we actually called her sister or Su. Uh, and Su used to make it <sighs> delicious. And then her daughter Nosha used to make it. The carrot cake and I just never learned I never I never learned I'm gonna have to learn though somebody gonna Cheryl somebody gonna have to teach me how to make it um that would be that would be lovely mm. <laughs> Trina <laughs> yes I know so I won't I haven't had it even like if they're serving it somewhere a restaurant or somebody and let it go uh would you like a slice of carrot cake heck no because it ain't it ain't what i'm used to no now i like the bread pudding because it's not as time consuming as baking a cake two layers three layers four you you know you just dump everything in the bowl, pretty much, put it in the oven, wait 40 minutes, and it's done. Like, there's not a whole lot of fuss and muss to it. So, I like it. It's not super, super sweet. Um, I can have it with coffee. I can have it with hot chocolate. I can have it with tea. Um... It's just one of those recipes that's kind of tried and true, you know, cheap or economical. Um, delicious, wholesome, because you got the fruits and everything in there. If you if you do it right, put your fruits and stuff. We got apples. We got a little fruit cocktail in there. We got some maraschino cherries. Maraschino. I had to make sure I said it right. Maraschino cherries in there. And raisins that have been soaking in rum. And then added the sugar in the... Honey, watch the show. Watch it from the beginning. And, and you'll see how we did it. Ooh. Now, I know... That it's not going to be ready in six minutes. But y'all just stick with me, honey. It's about to be beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. I just want you to know. I need to be your taster for Christmas. I am this lady. I love you too. <laughs> I tell you what. If the bread pudding comes out right. Then I might have to make you one for Christmas. And, and leave it with you. If it turns out right. If it don't, then we're going to forget about this episode. We're going to forget about this whole fiasco and just move on to better things, right? Because mm -hmm. that's why you watch the show. You know, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. You're just here to watch me make a beautiful mess in my kitchen. Honey. This is me, country, country. But when are you going to make auntie's hash? You like, Girl, oh gosh, that I know. <laughs> that is not country, country. Yeah, my mom used to bake the best barbecue hash. But you know, the older I got, I couldn't even stand to be in the same space that the hash was being made. It was just something about just all of the... I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm over it yet. But the outcome was so delicious. Mm, mm, mm. That over some rice and a side of turnip greens. Honey, don't you ever apologize for being country, country. That's what we got. I'm proud of it. Yes. Okay. Check it on the bread pudding real quick. Go ahead and share the video. I'll be right back. Okay?
Oh. It's actually doing something. I want to take, hold on. Oh, I got to take my, so I put on these sexy boots, chair for the show. Just for y'all. I know what nobody coming. I was just doing it for y'all. Just to be cute. And look at it. Now I can't take things off. I can't take them. Anyway, okay, I guess this thing is on. Oh, them. So, what's happening, especially in the little ramekins that I had, um, it may take a little bit longer for the larger one to finish, so I may leave that on the inside. But the ones in the smaller ramekins, they're rising already. They're kind of forming over the bowl itself. We're going to top it with a little bit of powdered sugar, some of this rum glaze, and we're going to be eating good in the hood, honey. Oh, gosh, I can't wait. So excited. I may make me a little bit of coffee tonight just to be like, you know, completely legit with it. It's like good music. The making is half the fun. Yes, it is. So much fun. And I think that's why, like, this really is therapy for me because it it does allow me to have a level of creativity um, to not necessarily have to follow anybody's rules. Um, yeah. So I I like it. It it's a release for me. It is. Yes, to be grown. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, let's see what's happening. So remember, we put that uh, a, a shallow amount of water in the pan um, underneath our um, cooking bowls. And that will allow it to cook from the bottom evenly all the way through. Oh, thank you, India. <laughs> Yeah, without getting all dried out and everything. So, just a little bit of water down. Of course, I put half of the oven on the floor, but... Mm. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're going to give that about 6 to 10 more minutes. And uh, we're going to be ready. It's, it's looking phenomenal. Okay, I'm excited. I'm I'm just happy. Hold on. And I did too. I'm not gonna worry about pictures and all of that stuff tonight. I will do that tomorrow. Thank you, Shannon, <laughs> cousin. So sweet. Okay, I'm gonna turn this back on just to um keep it nice and loose. It's thick enough, but I still wanna. I don't want it uh, clumpy. Okay, I want it to just kind of cascade over that bread pudding and not clump up. So we're going to turn that up just a little bit. Hmm. Look at the colors, honey. Look at all the fruits and the different colors. Remember what I said? We don't throw away no bread, honey. So the ends, the crust, all of that. Thank you, baby. Look, look at what it's doing. Okay, let's go ahead. I want to hit it with a little bit of powdered sugar. Mmm. Yes. Don't worry. You, when I take the picture tomorrow, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Okay. I'm a lefty, but I'm going to do it with my right hand. Okay. Just to, just for effect for you. Okay. Rum glaze. Oh. One more. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Child, you 
could make a few of those for Christmas in little ramekins like that to keep people from overdoing it. Because when they get a load of you, honey, when they get a load of you, it's simple. It's easy. We didn't do a whole lot. Oh. I know that's going to take a minute. Oh, I got an apple spilling out. And all the, um, the fruits are like evenly distributed. They didn't like fall to the bottom or anything. They are like mixed in every single bite. Look at that. Look at, look at that. Those are raisins that done swole up like that with that rum in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. Oh, it smells so good, honey. Hold on. Okay. Mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm-mm. 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 <laughs> the different layers, levels of sweetness, it's not all one note. No, I don't like one note. So you got sweetness from the condensed milk, from the brown sugar, a little white sugar, from the fruits themselves. They have their own sweetness. Um, you really don't need to go overboard. The maple syrup, even. We didn't use a ton of it, but oh my God. To just get a bite of everything... On your fork, a piece of peach, a piece of apple, some old swole up raisins, honey, drunk with rum. Yes. Mm. <laughs> mm hmm. Simple dessert. You're literally dumping in a bowl and throwing it in the oven. Okay. <laughs> Add a little bit of whipped cream or ice cream. Probably some butter pecan for me. Um, honey, that would set it off. Oh my goodness. Don't forget to tell people about this show. Let folks know that on Fridays, honey, we be eating good in the hood, honey. I be bringing things that you you didn't even remember mm -hmm. but i hope you enjoy it thank you for being here with me see you next week remember i love you and i hope you love me back bye